Okay, so Tom, thank you first of all for allowing me into your trailer. It's very glamorous. <laughs> yes, it's about is. twice the size of mine, but I'll be getting on to the juices <laughs> about that later on. Well, where, where does it come from? What's your background? Where does it, the diving come from in the family? I mean, you're obviously a natural. I mean, diving, not necessarily from the family at all. Um, when I was younger, my mum and dad always said to me that I need to learn to swim because I'm from Plymouth, so I'm by the sea. So I learned to swim from the age of three, and then I just saw the diving boards at seven and just thought I'd give it a go. I mean, my mum did gymnastics. Looking at her now, you probably wouldn't think that, but I don't oh, mean... <laughs> Don't mind the mammy, I think you're gorgeous. <laughs> but, you know, um, so I guess there's some stuff in the family with all that kind of stuff, but it's just, you have a certain level of natural talent, but then you have to work really hard. Now I know Rio's coming up and you're going to be training very hard for that, but ultimately what is it that you want to achieve? Well once, my ultimate dream is to win an Olympic gold medal. I've, I've wanted to win a gold medal in every major championship that's on the diamond calendar. And so far I've done national, European, world, commonwealth. So, and then the Olympics is the only one that I'm yet to win. Uh, so, got a bronze in that obviously last year, but then that gold is still... Um, hopefully, in Rio 2016, that would be amazing if I could win that goal. Okay, okay. it'd be a dream come true. What is the most rock star thing you've done? Um, well, looking back, obviously, when Boys on decided to take a break in 2000, I never thought I'd get that opportunity back to play in front of thousands of people again. Yeah. I kind of realised then that I didn't appreciate it enough when I had it. Mm. And then when we got the opportunity back in 2007, 2008 to go back on the road, we didn't know if anybody would want to come and see us. And we put the tickets on sale and within the space of, I think it was three hours, we'd sold 250,000 tickets. So it was amazing to get that opportunity back and to go back out on stage in front of those thousands of people that loved you. It, it was a great experience, but I suppose the most rock and roll thing that, that I'm very proud of would be when Pavarotti sent his private jet to pick us up in Dublin, flies to Modern, and we got to perform two songs with Pavarotti uh, in front of 100,000 people, going out to 2 billion people on, on cable. Wow. And that was just that, you know, I was telling my son this story years later, and not being very good on the computer and, and not very good at IT, my son called me up to his bedroom one day and I went up and he had found the clip of us performing with Pavarotti on YouTube. And I watched it back and it was the first time I'd ever seen it. And I kind of thought, wow, well, we really were right. big, you yeah. know? <laughs> well, what's it's just a memory now. Thanks for coming and chatting to me. Um, good luck for time. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Again, thank you very much. No, not at all. All right.